Alright everyone, how is it going? So today we're gonna learn how to use Archway Connect, which is a wonderful tool to interact with the Archway ecosystem. So first thing you need to do is to go to the Archway Connect website and then you will see the dashboard. So you can connect your wallet by clicking the button on the top right and you can connect via Kepler. Now that we are connected, we can see on the left part of the screen the menu with the different things that we can do. So we can bridge tokens to and from different chains, we can stake, unstake, redelegate the tokens and also we can vote on governance proposals and much much more. So you can see here at the top the amount of tokens that you have. In this case you will see that the tokens are const because Archway is still on its testnet. Once Archway is in mainnet, these tokens will be Arch. So the UI is amazing. Let's get into bridging some tokens. So we can press on the side part of the screen in the bridge button and we can withdraw some tokens from Archway to the Osmosis testnet. So as I said before, these are Constantine tokens, which are tokens relative to the testnet Constantine. We can withdraw them by selecting the amount and then approving the transaction. Once the transaction is successful, then we can see that the tokens have been sent. So another thing that we could do is also stake our tokens. So right now we can see all the different validators in which we are staking tokens to. And what we can do is press in the manage button and choose a validator from the active list. Once we choose one of the validators, then we can choose the amount of tokens that we want to stake. Then we can press on delegate, approve the transaction, and the tokens are being staked. So now refreshing the page, we will see another validator on the list. If we want to unstake tokens, then we can still press on the manage button and press on unstake. We can, press, we can select the amount of tokens that we want to unstake and press unstake. Please be aware that you will need to wait 21 days in order to have your tokens available due to the security considerations of the proof of stake consensus mechanism. So once we press this, we can see now that we have successfully unstaked our tokens. We can also redelegate the tokens by always pressing on the manage button on the side of the validator. And we can select redelegate. So we can select a, re a validator to delegate from and a validator to delegate to. And we can select the amount of tokens that we want to redelegate. Again, we can approve the transaction. And once the transaction is settled, we get notified. So we can see the active delegations, we can see the list with the active validators that we can delegate to, and much, much more. So we can also claim rewards here on the top right of the screen. And these are our staking rewards. And we can also vote on governance proposals. So here pressing on the left side of the screen, we can see the different proposals that have been passed or rejected. At the moment, there are no current proposals, but once there are, you can easily vote on them with this simple UI. So you can see all the details for all the governance proposal, and this is amazing because you can finally be part of the Archway protocol and give your saying, making this protocol truly decentralized. So interacting with the governance is really important, as this makes sure that everybody gets most value out of the protocol and the protocol is solid enough. Also, another thing that you can look at is, oops, maybe I should not show that, but yes, that's all we wanted to show for today. So yeah, make sure to check Archway Connect as this is a wonderful, wonderful tool to interact with the Archway protocol. Cheers.